When most people think about board gaming, they think of the good times they have sitting down with friends, family, and loved ones over the holidays. But that's not always the case, as sometimes board games have a much more disturbing, darker past. Joseph Goebbels was the head of Nazi Germany's Ministry of Public Enlightenment and Propaganda and was one of those responsible for pushing Nazi ideology into board gaming for children. The first game we're going to be talking about is Deutscher Schultz Deitzelbst, or translated as German Protect Yourself. Published in Germany in 1934, this is a role and movement game. Players take on the role of England, France, the USSR, and Czechoslovakia, each follow a unique spiral track towards the middle of the board. The winner is the first to reach the center space, which is labeled Deutschland is Schusslos, or translated Germany is defenseless. This game captures the public fear and anger that brought the Nazis to power in 1933. The board shows hordes of black airplane symbols surrounding Germany. The map shows the territory stripped from Germany by the 1918 Treaty of Versailles in vivid stripes. The game's central space uses the new national flag brought in by the Nazis to replace the black, yellow, and red standard of the Weimar Republic. This black, white, and red flag was in turn replaced by the Nazi party swastika flag in 1935. This is the only photo I was able to find of this game and the rules of how to play this game and the publisher information are both currently unknown. 